Hello, today I'll discuss about the histology of the esophagus. The esophagus has four layers, the mucosa, it is composed of the lining epithelium, stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Then we'll get the lamina propria, that is loose connective tissue, muscularis mucosa, that is a longitudinal smooth muscle layer. So this is mucosa. Then underneath the muscularis mucosa, we have the submucosa. This is submucosa. It is between the muscularis mucosa and the, the muscularis externa or the muscularis propria. Then the muscularis externa, it is composed of inner circular layer, outer muscular layer, outer longitudinal layer, inner circular layer, and the this is the advantage here. So in the mucosa, the mucosa has three layers, the epithelium. Again, this is the stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. It is a multi-layered epithelium. These are the, the, this is the basal layer of the epithelium that rests on the basement membrane. The basal layer of the epithelium are the precursor for all this layer. As the cell advances, it becomes more squamous, more attenuated, and this the superficial cells are very very attenuated, very squamous. These are more or less cuboidal. Okay. Then underneath the basement membrane, we have the lamina propria. This is the loose connective tissue. It makes papilla underneath the epithelium. This is the sub-epithelial papilla, another sub-epithelial papilla, another sub-epithelial papilla. Okay, so you got the sub-epithelial papilla here, and this is the muscular mucosa, this is the lamina propria, this is the loose connective tissue. If you go to the mucosa, you will go there. This is the stratified squamous epithelium. These are the basal layer. We'll get some spinosum layer, then stratum granulosum layer, stratum lucidum layer, and we'll get the, the stratum corneum layer. So these are the basal layer. These are the precursor for those cells. These are very much squamous. These are more or less keyboard. They rest on the basement membrane. Underneath that, we have the lamina propria. This is lamina propria. This is lamina propria. This is a loose connective tissue, so it contains blood vessels. It is vascular, it contains nerve, it contains lymphocyte, and even lymphatic nodule. And blood vessels, these are the blood vessels here, lined by the endothelial cell. It, it is a connective tissue. It is composed of cells, fibers, and ground substance. Here we have rich ground substance. It is loose connective tissue. Then we we'll get the muscularis mucosa. This is the longitudinal muscle layer. This is longitudinal muscle layer. Underneath the muscularis mucosa, we'll get the submucosa. Then we'll get the muscularis externa. Okay, this is the submucosa that is located between the muscularis mucosa and muscularis propria. Muscularis propria is same as the muscularis externa, and this part is the submucosa. Submucosa contains some mucosal glands. These are mostly mucous gland with scattered serous gland may be present. It, there is always individual variation, especially the, the species variation. Okay, so this is mostly the mucous gland. These are the assignee of the mucous gland. These are the units of the parenchyma of the gland. We know that gland is composed of the parenchyma and the stroma. So these are the part of the parenchyma that is the productive part of the gland. Okay. Then we we'll also get some duct here, 
and dark extralobular duct. We have the extralobular duct here. We have the intralobular duct here. And the ducts are lined by the keyboardal epithelium, then stratified keyboardal epithelium. And those ducts open into the lumen of the of the esophagus. So we got that. So this is the submucosa. It contains gland. It may also contain a lot of adipose tissue in some specimens. Okay, that will show the signatory appearance of the fat cell. Here it is not shown here, but this is the most important part. The submucosal gland. These are the mucus secreting gland. These are the unit of the mucus secreting gland. These are called a sinus, a c i n u s, and duct from the a sinus. This is the duct lined by the keyboard epithelium. Then it will be it will be lined by the stratified keyboard keyboard epithelium. That will be opened into the lumen of the esophagus. This is the muscularis externa. Inside will get the circular muscle layer. Outside will get the longitudinal muscle layer. This is the mucosa composed of epithelium, then lamina propria, then we get the muscularis mucosa here. Muscularis externa, it is composed of muscle in the upper one third. It is straighted, skeletal muscle, lower one, middle one third, mixture of both smooth muscle and skeletal muscle. So this is the muscle layer. So if you look at the muscle layer, we'll get it is straighted in the upper one third. If you have section of the esophagus from the upper one third of the esophagus, we'll get the skeletal muscle, straighted muscle. In the middle third, mixture of skeletal muscle and smooth muscle. Lower one third, we'll get the smooth muscle only. So again, this is the lumen of the esophagus. It is usually closed. It would be open when food polus goes through it. And our duct is present in the submucosal region that opens into the lumen of the esophagus. And this is the epithelium, lamina propria, muscularis mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa. Then we'll get outside the advantage here. So here, another section of the esophagus so lining epithelium is the stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium this is the lumen it is closed when there is no food when it when food goes through it it will open up this lumen okay the gland duct opens into the lumen of the esophagus so this is epithelium that rests on the basement membrane Lamina propria, lamina propria makes some papilla. Then we'll get the muscularis mucosa, submucosa will get there, we'll get some gland here, like this. This is the mucous gland. Then we'll get the muscularis externa. Muscularis externa has two layers inner circular layer, then intervening connective tissue, outer longitudinal layer. Then outside that, we'll get the adventitia. here. Okay, we'll get serosa in the lower esophageal, uh, lower part of the esophagus where it is inside the abdomen. The adventitia consists of loose connective tissue, blends with adventitia of the trachea and surrounding structure, contain adipose tissue, artery, vein, and nerve fiber. The abdominal part of the esophagus, the outer wall of the esophagus is, is consists of connective tissue lined by mesothelium, that is simple squamous epithelium, and is called serosa. That is, we know that the esophagus extends from the laryngopharynx to the cardiac end of the stomach, and most of the part of the esophagus is present in the thorax and in the cervical region. In the abdomen, it is only 1 centimeter to 2.5 centimeter. In that area, the outer wall of the esophagus is lined by serosa. The epithelium is mesothelium, simple squamous epithelium, 
or visceral peritoneal covering over the lower part 1.5 1 to 2.5 centimeter area. Okay. Now we are just wrapping up lumen of the esophagus, stratified squamous non keratinous epithelium, lamina propria, the subepithelial papilla, then muscularis mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, inner circular layer then intravenic connective tissue, outer longitudinal layer, and outer layer is called the advantage shear. This is the advantage shear layer. This is the stratified squamous non carinized epithelium. This is the lamina propria. This is the subepithelial papilla. The epithelium rests on the basement membrane. Then we'll get the muscularis mucosa here. Okay, we have some viva questions. In our viva bossy exam, we must identify the slide properly. We must take time to fix the slide under the microscope. And in our study, we'll open the atlas book. We'll confirm everything, every structure. What are the layers of the esophagus? Four layer from inside, outside, the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and the advantage here. From outside, inside, the adventitia, the muscularis externa, submucosa, then we have the mucosa. What are the components of the mucosa? Lining epithelium, stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium, lamina propria, and muscularis mucosa. What is the lining epithelium of the mucosa? Stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. What is lamina propria? Loose connective tissue. What does it contain? It contains blood vessels, nerve, lymphatics, and also ducts of the blood. It is composed of, it is a connective tissue, it is composed of cell, fibers, and ground substance. The fibers are mostly the collagen fibers. What is the muscularis mucosa and submucosa? Muscularis mucosa is a part of the mucosa. It is here in this esophagus, longitudinal smooth muscle layer. Underneath the muscular mucosa, we have the submucosa. And submucosa contains what? Esophageal gland. What type of gland they are? They are mostly mucous gland. What is the lining epithelium of the duct? These are li lined by the keyboardal epithelium. The larger duct is lined by the stratified keyboardal epithelium. Where the duct open, the ducts open into the lumen of the lumen of the esophagus. What type of muscles are present in the wall of the esophagus? Okay, upper one third muscle is skeletal, middle third skeletal and smooth muscle mixture, lower one third only smooth muscle. Muscle arrangement inside the circular muscle layer, outside longitudinal muscle layer. What is adventitia of the esophagus? Outer wall of the esophagus is called adventitia. Okay. And it, is, it will be blended with the connective tissue, the surrounding structure like that of the trachea. What is the, what is the cirrhosis of the esophagus? Lower part of the esophagus, that is the abdominal part, it is lined by the simple squamous epithelium. It is composed of connective tissue lined by simple squamous epithelium or mesothelium or visceral peritoneum, it is called the cirrhosa. Okay. So these are the references, Jankuria basic histology and histology by Ross and Pauline and also from the Microsoft PowerPoint online picture insertion. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Please share the information with your friends. And Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.